everybody. So this week's a little different and I actually didn't get that many much footage when I was uh, doing the process but this week I'm going to talk a little bit about how I made these uh, custom sweatshirts for my housemate and it, it just was fascinating to me because I haven't done this in so long and it was actually a lot harder than I remember and quite the process oh my goodness so to start I uh, was obviously like ideation you know I was just driving in my car and I'm like oh this would be cool to make you know something to, like my roommate is a postdoc in mitochondria microbiology and uh, she really likes mitochondria so I was like oh it would be cute to have like a little mitochondria running um she's doing a half marathon you know and I'm not a runner so I'm not gonna like run with her but I can cheer her on right so and, and actually, when I was cleaning out my film's basement, I found like all this extra like, sweatshirts and shirts that I just need to use. They've been there for years. I used to do this as sort of like a side hustle years ago. And then I'm, you know, drawing this design myself. So I did sort of like an ideation board of what I want it to look like. So, you know, I looked up mitochondria, pretty basic. But then I also looked up comparable like animated arms, animated legs. So I could just have something to look at to base base it off of. And then the hard part was like finding the right software to draw it in. I thought, you know, Photoshop maybe. I make all of my like YouTube thumbnails in Photoshop would work. But I'm just not familiar with Photoshop in that way to really use it to draw. I did try, you know, tracing some things in Photoshop. It did not really look the way I wanted it to look. So then I was like, okay, let's restart. And so I took out my tablet and started just uh, hand sketching on my tablet in Adobe Illustrator and I got lucky that the curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator is really nice for this and the paintbrush tool is also really nice for this so between the two I had a rough sketch of what I wanted and I like probably could have just used this sketch for the shirt but I wanted to look a little more refined so I took that sketch just like the rough idea of what I wanted and then started over on my computer. And now that I'm more familiar with like the curvature tool and the brush, it became a lot easier to use Adobe Illustrator. Came up with the design and put it into a silhouette. I have Cameo 2 and basically that like cuts out the design. And uh, to note, I did do some like for planning and I had already ordered this heat transfer vinyl, which actually this is the best heat transfer vinyl I've ever used. It was really easy to peel and um, really just appreciate it. So I'm in Silhouette and I have to like put it in the software to send it to the cutting machine that I have to then cut out the, the design on the vinyl. And this I've done before, right? <laughs> But I just kept messing up. It took, it, I used up like my whole sheet of, of heat transfer vinyl because I couldn't get the blade to cut properly. It's really finicky with how deep you want the blade versus the force you want the blade, the speed of cutting. You can set all these different parameters depending on what material you're using. I kept playing with the settings and I kept thinking, you know, maybe there's something wrong with the blade. It just either wasn't cutting or it was cutting through the whole thing. But the problem was, was that I didn't have the blade blocked. So even though it was on the toughest setting of blade cutting, it wasn't locked. So the blade would always get picked up and not cut anything. And uh, once I figured that out on my last sheet of heat transfer vinyl, it uh, became a much smoother process. And then so once you get everything cut out, you have the heat press. Which you can use an iron instead. I think heat presses just are better, they're faster, and I think they like help it adhere better and evenly. This heat press that I have, I haven't used it in years, didn't have the power cord. So earlier I ordered a new power cord. It's just like a normal computer power cord, which is great. Uh, then when I was using it, I kept turning off and on. And I was like, this is a pretty heavy duty machine. Like you don't want to be messing around with its power supply and all that. Um, but I realized I just didn't have it plugged in hard enough, which, okay, fine, my mistake. For a while I was just like holding it in and it was this whole hassle. But then finally, I got it to cut where I had the whole transfer paper. Sorry, again, I said I didn't take footage throughout this process. 
and could heat press it down on the sweatshirt, which is great. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and it was like probably a 10 hour process to make this sweatshirt. But I'm proud, I did, you know, the ideation, the design, the cutting, the like, manufacturing essentially, and the procurement, you know, it's, uh, I like that. But thanks for watching and check back next week for another video.